Hey there everybody, welcome back to the bench top. Uh, I got a real fun one today. Uh, I'm going to replace the wear strip on the bottom of this snow shovel. I've been using the shovel for a couple of years and it's just been worn out. That little strip, uh, I tore it to pieces. I, I broke it. So this little strip here, I just plain broke and it's now living on the streets and it's a shame however you know you can't save the world so so i'm just going to replace it uh, for that i purchased some flat bar zinc coated galvanized flat bar uh, so it's a 36 inch bar it's an 18 inch shovel. I'm going to cut it in half and rivet it to the shovel. Uh, I believe the shovel is from Home Depot. This bar I just bought the other day is from the depot. Aluminum rivets, which I wanted to get steel rivets, but they had aluminum rivets. So I got aluminum rivets. I went with a heavier 3 16 uh, with a quarter inch grip, thinking this is about an eighth, this is about an eighth. So we'll see here. I'm, I'm uh, not gonna make any promises, but I'm gonna give this a shot. And we're supposed to have some snow here in the next couple of days, uh, so we'll get to test this out immediately and check back in. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. That wasn't so bad. Okay, well, that's <laughs> not quite quite. <clears throat> that's not quite square, uh, but we're through. So that gives me two long edges. Okay, now I gotta drill these out. Yeah, that's going to take about a year. I'll start him here with the punch. Okay, let's take this over the bandsaw. Or <laughs> let's take this over the bandsaw and drill these holes. Okay, got holes drilled. Okay, I went ahead and enlarged these holes with the uh, step bit. Um, just a little bit just to make room for the rivet and it gave it a little bit of a chamfer there I'm hoping that extends the life of the rivet somewhat okay let's try this again uh, pretty sure it's like this Well, that did it. I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> not exactly what I was imagining, but we might have to clean it up with a pin on the vise or something.
Okay. So it's engaged. Okay, we got Callan here. He's gonna test this equipment out. to the drawing board see what we need to do I'm recording right now so there you have it uh, shovel replacing the strip that was a su success we were supposed to get some more snow this weekend but that really didn't materialize so my test wasn't as thorough as I wanted it to be uh, however we were supposed to get some more snow because it is winter and snow happens when it is winter so we will try this out again and uh, try it through the season and I'll just keep tabs on it uh, hopefully it'll it'll hold up for at least as long as the factory job did and I'm pretty confident in that as long as our rivets hold up so I will give you a close-up view here of the rivets and what I had to change to get this to work uh, when I initially tested it the rivets stuck out too far on the bottom they just dragged on the sidewalk on the cement and just really for all the bigger they were they just really like brought it to a grinding halt so I went ahead and rounded all of them over and flattened them out against the steel bar. And uh, uh, here, well, let me show you. So there's the rivets with the, they were flattened, hammered flat. And then you can see the abrasion marks just from uh, that one little bit of shoveling you witnessed here. So. Yeah, hopefully these will hold up. We'll get some use out of these and uh, stay tuned for, for more riveting videos. Thank you guys, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, hit the notifications bell, and I will see you in the next one.